Hello, can you believe this gorgeous Cleveland day we're having? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I know it's not here to stay yet, but um, it does give me hope for better days on the way weather-wise. Um, so I'm gonna take complete advantage of this day and Lainey and I are headed to Medina Square to try out one of the new restaurants in the square, fairly new anyway. It's called Swine Barbecue. I love southern cooking, so I'm super excited to try this new restaurant and see what the prices are, all that, see how it is inside. I've been wanting to check out for a long time that Polish pottery store that's down there on the square as well. We saw it um, when we went down for our girlfriend's um, event when we were dressed as witches, and I have been wanting to go back to that store ever since and check it out, so maybe we'll walk in there today if it's open. Um, and then the big reason why we are headed to the Medina Square is to head into a store called All Fired Up. Um, we did also um, show you that during our ladies' event, um, the witches' night, but we are going back to actually sit down and take full advantage of all fired up and make some of our own pottery and show you guys the process of that and what that's all about as well. So let's get going to Medina Square. Oh, they're only up until 4.30 today. Oh, but wait, regular business hours for the same March 18th. Oh, good, okay. So they're still open real quick. Let's go. I've been dying to see the store. It's so pretty in here. Oh my gosh, beautiful stuff. Lovely. What is Let's see. Look at the eggs. Look at the eggs. How much are they? Hi. Hello. Two fifty only. Oh, those are so pretty. Beautiful. Look at these ones, Elena. Yeah, I see them. Delicate. Real eggs. Oh gosh, they're gorgeous. You can combine those stands where it's just one wire with that curls and then you can hang it on it. So pretty. And so are these bunnies. That is so pretty. Look at the duck. If you're looking for something really unique and beautiful for Easter, this might be the store to come to. This has beautiful, beautiful stuff. Let's see how much they are. This bunny is $20, $24. Blaine, look at the cherry um, tea. So cute. Oh, look at I should cute. buy you this. I do like those, actually, and I, I can really use them. Oh, look at the heart tea kettle. Oh. And this whole wall, she says, is the 50% off sale wall. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a wall we're checking out. I know it's not Christmas and I know we're past it, but I have to show you how gorgeous all this Christmas stuff is. It is beautiful. The whole store is gorgeous. Good to know. And then they um, pour it into molds and fire it and then they create these little stamps over here. Looks like almost corn cut. But this is oh, real wow. fine foam. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I see and that. And they draw every little design, everything on there, cut it out with real tiny scissors, yeah. and they're stamped on. That's unbelievable. I know. Well, nothing I'd want to do. No, me neither. I these, don't... Are, these are some of the artists in the, the factories in Poland. And that's exactly, you have to love your art in order to do oh, it, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. But my goodness, is it beautiful. I'm so happy we walked into that store. It is amazing in there. And after talking to her, the pieces come from Poland. She said they actually dig up the clay in Poland. They make it in Poland, as you could see with the artists there. She said there's like 400 stores throughout this country that actually sell the Polish pottery that you can find in there. It is a little bit pricey, but she said she bought herself a casserole from there. It's 18 years old. It looks exactly the same as the day she bought it. So it is quality, quality stuff that you're getting. It's special. You can actually use it and cook in it, bake in it, put it in your dishwasher, put it in the microwave. So it is usable and you can 
pass it down to your family members as well because it is going to last you for years. So definitely come and check out the Polish pottery here on Medina Square. What an unexpected blessing today to walk into that store. But now we're hungry. So now we're gonna go walk into Barbecue Swine. Let's go. Plate means it's just the sandwich, uh, or um, it's just the meat without the sandwich. Part of it does come with like bread on the side, but a sandwich is it's a sandwich, so you can choose how you want to get it. But then the sides are extra. Um, so I tried a sampling of each of the barbecue sauces that they have, and the white tastes similar to like a ranch. It's really good. The peach jalapeno has a kick. It's delicious. My favorite is still just the sweet, regular barbecue sauce. Did they had a root beer one up there? Mm, not my favorite. My favorite actually probably is um, the white. If you have like the turkey, if you're eating the turkey, the white would be really good with that, I think. But um, the, the regular, just the regular sweet KC, I think it's called barbecue sauce up there is delicious. That'd be good for your pulled pork. I just realized the table, if you look, it's a door. That is so creative. I am not sure what's in the street corn. Um, some kind of seasoning or something is in there that green. And I can't tell what it is. But I don't like it. I'm not real fond of the this, this street corn. I don't know. There's something weird in it. I don't like it. But the candied sweet potatoes are really yummy and my salmon. Oh my gosh, so, so good. It just melts in your mouth. Um, Elena's pulled pork, I had a bite of that. Oh my gosh, amazing. Just melts, melts right in your mouth. Delicious. The, the meat here is delicious. The sides. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so stuffed. Oh, I'm glad we're walking a little bit to get to all fired up. I need to walk off my food a little bit. Oh my gosh. It's like dog dash. <laughs> Here are the March events, followed by the April events. You can call that number to make a reservation. However, you do not need a reservation just to stop in and just grab something off the shelves that you want to paint. They do have aprons for you to use if you don't want to get your clothes all dirty. They supply the paint for you and the paint brushes and all that. She said they have regular and then they have sparkled, or I'm sorry, speckled <coughs> paint. And she said make sure you put three coats on there because one or two coats you'll see the brush stroke. So that's good to know. But they have so many things to choose from and I love how you can even see, um, get some ideas from ones that have already been done, which is neat. So she said the price you see, like if it's $22 for these lips, it's the price you pay. She said this is ready to go, it's in its bisque state, so it's ready to be painted. But then you paint it and they fire it and then you come back in a week and pick it up and it's ready to go now the hard part what do i want to paint i'm going to walk around and look at all that they have Turn any item 
them into a chalkboard. That's cool. I am completely in love with whoever made that one. That is so beautiful. They even have an adult wine glass painting class. How fun would that be? Peep. They have kids play gnomes workshop. This is where we sat when I brought you kids here years ago. It was right here. And now it's just set up for looks like adult canvas workshop. And oh look in the kids Easter Bunny canvas class. How cute is that? Now they do canvas here too, which I didn't know. So that's neat. But they have a whole bunch of things for like Easter over here, which is great. Like you can decorate your own egg or um, lots of like peep bunnies back there, which is cute. Um, and then plates and stuff that you can decorate. Like that one right there, isn't that pretty? Love that. Um, they or, even sorry, have a paint to go in like kits where you could come in and there pick it up and take it home and color it and then bring it back on the fire for you. Here is more information on the paint to go kits too as well. So I have always wanted to have a celebration plate. I used to have one years and years ago and I really have no idea what happened to it. But I'd like to have another one again for when it's someone's birthday or something really awesome happens to them. Maybe they get the job or maybe they just pass the test that they studied really hard for. Anyway, a celebration plate would be an awesome way to make them feel really special about that wonderful thing that happened in their life. And we need to celebrate the little wonderful things that happened in our lives, don't we? So that is what I decided on is this plate. And now I just have to be creative on how to decorate it. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. Now I'm gonna run with it. But here's the before. So this is how we're doing so far. I got like a little ombre going, which is what I wanted. But now I just need to blend it into the white part of the plate and then figure out what to put in the middle. All right, we're coming along. In order to, to draw on your piece of pottery without it coming through once it's fired you just use a pencil and then once it's fired in the kiln the pencil marks will be burned away and you'll be left with just the paint which is neat to know they do have um, special pencils here that are permanent so if you wanted to keep that um, you could use those instead I'm finished and I know it doesn't look very bright and fabulous right now, but they haven't glazed it and fired it yet, so I'm anxious to see what it'll look like in a week. When we come pick it up, and there's Lainey's little strawberry. It was a joint effort. She got fed up with it after a while and had to take over. And here is her unfinished, in process, piece of work she's working on, and it will be gorgeous, I'm sure, when it's done. So we are just now leaving all fired up. And as you can see, it's now dark out. Uh, we went in when it was light and we were in there for hours. You can stay in as long as they're open and take as much time as you need to make your art creations. And I would suggest you do that. It is an amazing place to come um, to get, find some peace, to uh, clear your head, to not think of anything, and just to be super creative and artistic and uh, do anything that you can think of in there. Um, they supply all these paints. It's quality, quality stuff that they have in there compared to like paint a penguin or something you would get in the mall. Um, again, you can put it in the dishwasher. You can eat on it. Um, she said, do not put it in the microwave, but it is something that you can use um, and take home and use. Uh, for my plate was $35. Elena's strawberry plate was 21 and then her regular plate was 22. So yeah, it's a little bit pricey, but it includes all the paint. It includes all the kiln and the firing and the glaze. And it's just really, really fun to do. So I highly, highly recommend coming to All Fired Up for for a wonderful night, maybe a date night, or just a one-on-one -on -one time with your daughter or someone special in your life. It was great. Um, as far as um, barbecue swine, yes, the meat was fabulous. The food was so 
good in there uh, as far as the meat goes but the sides were lackluster and oh I would not get either one of those sides again um, the candied yams were okay um, or but the street corn was terrible so I would suggest going to a different restaurant on the square if you're coming to Medina Square because there are so many delicious restaurants here um, farm uh, table which is right here down the street just a little ways from all fired up um, my cousin and I went there a couple weeks ago and it was fabulous and it is beautiful on the inside and if it's a nice evening like it is today you can sit outside and they have it all decorated with the lights up on the outside and it is absolutely beautiful but the inside is amazing too I'll have to go back and do a video so you guys can see how wonderful it is but I would rather go there than barbecue swine again um, time is right across the street as well which is amazing house of Hunan looked awesome they had their doors open tonight so uh, that might be another option for you to eat at when you come down to do all fired up so that was an amazing adventure tonight with me and my girl. I can't wait to do it again. And until our next adventure, I will see you guys soon. Bye.